Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, this is Craig here at OneGrid and today we are just going to have a look at how quick and easy it is uh, to set up a simple website for a barbershop. Uh, this is one of the layouts or the themes if you would like uh, that actually comes with our website builder. And so we're just quickly going to have a look at what it takes to get a, a website online for a barbershop. Um, I'm already logged into my website builder and so we're just going to get started immediately. So this is exactly what you will see uh, the first time that you log into your website builder. Uh, it will simply ask you what type of website do you want to create uh, and we're just going to go straight and say barbershop. Uh, and I'll just give it a sample name for now. So the website builder again, uh, it's, it's really just this easy. You, you simply answer the questions that you are being presented with. And once you've made a selection, just click continue. Right, and then I'm going to just choose a color scheme for us to work with today. Uh, I'll go to the red and black. Again, at any time you can skip uh, these steps. Uh, if you want to, to customize your website from the start, uh, what we've basically done is we've selected uh, color combinations that works best uh, on any device. Uh, and so uh, if you are not very particular in which colors or you don't have a particular brand colors just yet, uh, just go ahead and use one of the palettes that we've made available for you. Uh, so, right, so once I've selected the color scheme that I want for my site, uh, I'm now going to choose a homepage layout uh, and then we are just about halfway through. So I'm just looking for something that's really uh, going to be very striking visually. And, um, and I think I'm going to just use this layout for today. Uh, and also at any time, uh, you don't have to worry about being locked into anything. If you do want to change your website at the next stage, uh, you can simply just reset uh, and start from scratch. So I think this layout is going to work quite nicely for what I've got in mind. Uh, and then what I'm also just going to check very importantly is what this layout looks like on the mobile device. Right, so I'm just going to select the mobile preview button. And I see everything is nice and responsive and it fits in nicely with the layout that I've got in mind. Then we are basically done with creating our website. I'm just going to click. You can see there I've got uh, the full layout of my home page is now done. And what you can basically do is if you've got your own images for your website, you're welcome to bring those in and simply click on the existing images. Uh, and then you can then change these either from uh, directly from your PC, uh, images that you've stored on your PC. Uh, we also allow for a certain amount of stock images, uh, as you can see with the ones on your screen right now. So uh, perhaps you haven't had the chance yet, uh, the opportunity to, uh, to take photos at your business. Uh, just use the stock images that we've provided for you uh, to get going. You can always come back and change these. Uh, at the later stage. That's, uh, I think that's a fairly nice layout for us to get started with. I'm actually not going to change anything on my home page uh, and I'm just going to publish this website. So there's a notice there that says it will just take about a minute uh, for our website to publish. Um, it really is that quick and easy. So I'm just going to see live what my website looks like. And there it is exactly what we've chosen inside the website builder is exactly what we're getting out uh, in our browser. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just make a couple of changes to my site because uh, there are some more things that I'd like to add. Uh, the first thing just being a contact us page uh, so that my customers can uh, book their appointments with me online. So I'm just going to drop down over here. I'm going to click on this plus sign. I'm going to say contact us. And basically what I want to add here is a form. I also want to, of course, do my email address and telephone number. 
Uh, and I also just want to add a map uh, so that people are able to find me quickly and easily. So uh, we're going to add some content to this page. And I just want something that immediately presents my users with uh, the information that they're looking for. Uh, just something very clean, uh, simple form where they can put in their email address, write a message to me, uh, and then also just find the physical address. And then as I mentioned, I also just want to add a map so that people can add the exact directions of my location. Uh, so I'm just going to say contact. And we're basically just going to add a full width map to our contact us page. And I think I'm fairly happy with that. That was quick and easy. So what you can then do, uh, if you need to change the email address for this form, uh, is simply click through. Uh, you, you can then add the email address and the subject line if you want to appear. Uh, and then any of the other information, as with anything in Website Builder, simply click directly on that element and you can make the changes right there and then and again everything is super quick everything is mobile responsive i'm just going to go ahead and publish our website again because i've just added a new page again in under a minute that would be done and this i, I mentioned this at every session because there are so many other website builders where you need to download uh, plugins and extensions to get the simple functionality uh, that you want for a small business website. With Website Builder, everything is contained within the program uh, and there's no need for you to download any files or install anything on your machine. So I'm uh, just going to refresh my live website. You'll see automatically the Contact Us uh, item appears in the menu. If I click onto that, uh, you'll just see it's exactly uh, the page that we've just built uh, in Website Builder. Right, and then I'm just going to add one last page. Uh, I just want to give some people uh, people some information about the business. So I'm just going to go ahead and add an about us page. So again, drop down at the top. And say about us. And this is basically just where I'm going to give some background info to my small business. Add a nice section there with some photos. And then I'm just going to add one more portion so that I can create some more text. So I'm going to do something like this. And as I said in the beginning, the idea of my website is just to make things just very visually appealing. So uh, I've got some space now to add my own text. And I've also got some space to just add a couple of photos or even videos if you have them available. Uh, again, uh, it's that quick and easy. I'm going to just publish. And this time, just before we go to the live website, I'm just going to show you what, this, what the end result is on a mobile device. So we're just going to switch to a mobile phone view, and that is our About Us page. This is the mobile view of the Contact Us page, again with the map. And then the mobile view of our home page. Right, so I'm happy with all of that. I've already published the site, so gonna have a look at my end result and that's really all it takes you can see I've got my business name at the top a nice home page layout which I can always go back and change later if I've got more information and new information that I wish to add uh, the contact us page it's nice and easy and you see how quick it loads as well just for people to get in touch with me directly and then I've got the about us page 
And so it's super easy. And that really is what our website builder is about. Uh, so you can have a look at it. It is available on our website. Uh, it's the DIY web builder. Uh, available for only 109 rand a month. Uh, and you don't need to purchase web hosting. Um, everything is available to you from the website builder. So thank you so much.